hello you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be showing you guys how i created this beautiful simple inverted bob here are a few items and some things that i will be using to create the look yes i have some bundles here i have some skull caps i have some glue over here i have some clips scissors a uh, hot comb edge control everything that you will be needing to create the look this right here is my version of a braid down y'all please don't judge me i did the best that i can just make sure you do the best that you can as well uh right here i have some areas that i will be leaving out these areas where the clip is is the areas that will be her leave out on today's bob and like i said you just do the best that you can with your braid down on this side right here is the area where her edges will be left out in front of um her bob so i like to use three caps y'all yes i like to use three i know there are some people that use two but i use three the colors really don't matter i have a black one i have a tan one and i have a lighter version one i will be putting all three of these caps on because i like to use three caps just for that extra protection of the glue that we will be using and like i said the colors in which you place them really doesn't matter now if you feel that three caps will be doing a little bit too much because you won't be able to find where to glue where to outline with the glue even though you guys are going to see me use this glue method i'm gonna switch it up but like i say if the caps are a little too thick for you from using three just lift it up and find where your parts are and that way you will know where to place your glue now right here you see me gluing uh the caps down but from it being so uh thick I wind up just sewing around this area anyway. Now, like I say, this is an option because if you use three caps, you have to make sure that the glue goes down far enough to penetrate through all three caps. As you can see now, I will be taking my needle and I will be starting behind the ear, okay? Don't use her um, braid that's gonna be left out for her edges start behind the ear and sew all the way around this cap you guys because this is going to ensure that this uh would this this weave will not be moving i'm sorry y'all this will ensure that it will not go anywhere and it's better than trusting a glue down method if you just sew it down it is much uh secured then you just gluing it down and please with this part right here take your time cutting all this extra off due to the fact that you do not want to make a mistake and cut anything that you have left out for her leave out and like i said i will be going around this glue area that i glued down earlier but i have it sewn up here so like i said you can use the glue down method just make sure that you have enough glue penetrating through all three caps you guys but i wind up sewing around this area anyway and like i said just take your time cutting all the excess cap off due to the fact you do not you do not want to make a mistake and cut any extra hair please guys take your time cutting off the extra pieces of this cap I'm just making sure that everything is clean and everything, you know, all the pieces of extra cap is gone. Right here now, we will start placing the weave on with the glue. Please, you guys, place glue only on the cap. 
try your best not to go past the caps. That is the purpose of you using three caps for protection of your hair. So glue only on the cap area only you guys so i'm gonna speed this process up and you guys can get a clear vision of what i'm doing even though i'm gonna speed the video up Now, right here is where I want to um, discuss with you guys about how close to place your tracks. It's optional depending on how full and how thick you want your bob or your hairstyle to be. From this being a bob, I like to have my fullness more in the front area. Not the back, yes. But at the same time, I like it medium full towards the back and I place more tracks in the front for a more fuller look in the front. My client really doesn't like too thick of a hair because she like it to look natural. And so I use like, you know, a medium density when placing the weave. What does that mean? Uh, I may place my tracks like a half an inch, a half an inch in between each other until I come in the front of it. And when I come in the front of it, I place the tracks just a little bit more closer. But like I said, it's really basically up to you how um, close and how far apart you use your tracks. The further your tracks are away from each other, the thinner it will be. The closer the tracks are to each other, the fuller it will be. And um, right here, I'm going to iron some of these waves out of these bundles just so I can see how much fullness that I have. And because sometimes bundles can be thick when they're short. Because see, 10 inch tracks come pretty full already. So that's why you don't have to have them too close when dealing with the shorter bundles. You have to place... Uh, you have to get more creative when you're using the longer bundles because longer bundles sometimes are thinner. So here, like I said, I'm just, you know, ironing some of the waves out so I can see just how full it is. That way I would know if I need to add extra tracks right there in the back. Now, coming around to the front part of the hair, I want you to start slanting the tracks going in an upward position because she don't want it to fall in her eye. In order for it not to fall in your eye, as you start coming around toward the front, start coming in an upward position with gluing your tracks down. Now here we are in the front and we are about to close this off. Please make sure that you um you you glue as much as possible close to the hairline without getting it on the actual hair because you want to hide that cap as much as possible. I mean, like I said, get it close to the hairline as you can without touching your natural hair.
now that everything is closed off, we are about to start flat ironing this hair. We're going to flat iron the entire head to make sure that it is smooth because you know we have some um, body wave bundles and we have some straight bundles. So we're going to make sure that all this hair is blended well and that everything is laying smoothly and everything is blending accordingly. Now we're going to prepare to um, lay her edges down. Uh, I decided to use my more durable hot comb because my little electric one, it'll get the job done, but it won't lay it as well as my uh, Kazuri irons. I normally just put it in the, uh, in the warmer part of my stove. I don't actually put it on the stove, you guys, because you don't really need that type of extreme heat, but it will lay it much better than my electrical ones. So right now, all I'm doing is just going through the entire top portion of her head with the high comb flat ironing it and just trying to blend all her natural hair with the weave hair so like i say i will be flat ironing this and high combing this to blend everything so everything can lay and blend nice and neat I also forgot to mention, you guys, if you don't have a wax stick, please get you one because a wax stick is the game changer to flyaways. And it also will lay it down to make sure that everything is flushed and neat. So here I am about to prepare to lay her edges down with her edge control. Now right here, she wants her hair to be behind her ear. And she wanted to stay behind her ear without her having to constantly comb it and do so. So I'm going all in and through her hair with this edge control so that it can uh, stay put after I uh, lay everything down and put her a few like little detailed sideburns and baby hairs so we're going to now start to prepare to lay everything down and then we're going to get off into cutting this hair and creating this style now here comes the magic you guys this is the part that i love because i love cutting hair and now i'm just making sure that everything is blended and stuff like that so that i can know where to go in at and how to start cutting it and i just you know asking her like what what she want to go with do she want to go with an inverted bob do she want to go with an asymmetrical bob you know so i'm just trying to you know come to a decision with her on which way she want to go but this is the part that i love y'all i love cutting hair because this is the area where you bring all of this to life this is where the life begins you guys
right here i will be using my two inch flat iron just creating a slight bump uh, because my client she don't like the straight look she like it kind of bumped in the beginning and then eventually it will form into that straight look over time i love the bump look as well but this is a preference you can iron it straight down and have that hollywood look because that's what i call it when it's just bone straight with no tuck i call that the hollywood look so but um we prefer to do just a little slight bump and sometimes i will take some of my uh sebastian weather spray just to give it more of like a sealed uh bump without it being hard and for it to last and be bouncing you guys that sebastian's weather spray is a game changer when you are curling your hair for a bob because it gives it so much bounce you guys and especially when you are using fresh bundles yes always have you some type of um not firm but a light hole spray and just spray in areas you don't have to spray all through the entire head just spray certain areas of it and like i say it will make it more bouncy it will make it more flush and everything will blend perfectly just going in with um my wax stick just to make sure that her natural hair blends with the weave so you don't see any demarcations between her hair starting and stopping you know to blend in with the weave that's where the wax stick come in at you guys please get you a wax stick when you are doing a leave out because it just makes the hair blend so well to where you don't see any demarcations. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. It's a simple, beautiful, bouncy, flowy bob. 
behind the ear that way she ain't got to be worrying about trying to keep it comb behind her ear it is there to stay you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video like i said don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel stay tuned for more videos and more tutorials in the future and like i say see you in the next video